And now, your first alert five weather. And time now for another check of that forecast. Widespread severe weather not expected today. That said, still tracking some pretty potent storms out here. Storms that have really pulsed up pretty quickly due to some instability and still some very high dew points out across the southeast plains. This is well east of the John Martin Reservoir now. So we're talking about Bent and Prowers County, both under a severe thunderstorm warning until 445 this afternoon. Storm capable of putting down hailstones in excess of maybe a quarter to a half dollar size in diameter. Storm is racing off to the east at about 30 miles per hour. So anywhere along and maybe south of Highway 50 in this area, I would advise to take shelter. That includes areas around Lamar out into uh, Prowers County. It looks like the storm is heading your way next. Also, one other severe thunderstorm warning that's still in effect, although it looks like that storm is cycling down a bit, not quite as strong, not seeing as much of a hail core. That would be indicated by the bright pink. Generally, just some very heavy rain, maybe some small pea to penny size hail here in Los Animas County. That storm moving off to the northeast at about 25 miles per hour, but not done with the severe weather threats, not yet. And again, this is generally going to be along and east of a line from La Junta down across maybe the southern and southeastern plains here in southern Colorado. Flood threat is low as storms are moving pretty quickly today. Wind damage would be on the moderate side. Hail on the high side. They can't rule out a tornado, but I think they'll be weak and short lived if they develop. I think most of the thunderstorm activity should die down here between about 7 and 9 p.m. And here's from our live camera view in La Junta looking east. That's that one thunderstorm that just moved through your area now pushing off to the east again. Severe thunderstorm warning in effect for parts of Prowers and Bent counties that goes till 445 this afternoon. What a difference a day <laughs> makes around Teller County. Just a gorgeous end to the week. A bit on the breezy side compared to what we saw yesterday. Same thing in the springs, getting some stronger wind gusts in some areas. Right now, winds out of the southeast shaking that camera around 21 miles per hour. The humidity much, much lower. Temperature outside quite a bit warmer than this time yesterday at 84 degrees. And in Pueblo, we are back to the 90s this afternoon. We'll stay there again to make our way into your Saturday. Now, dew points tell us where the most moisture is in the atmosphere. Look how high those numbers are again across the eastern plains. Dry line right about here, so west of it. Very dry, very hot today. A completely different story. Those areas not expecting the thunderstorms through the rest of your night tonight. Again, most of it does clear out between 7 and 9 p.m. By Saturday, Left with sunshine, future cast hardly detecting any clouds through the early afternoon hours. I think as we get later into the day, maybe a few clouds coming off of the mountains. That is going to be about yeah, about a threat for rain tomorrow looks to stay pretty much at or below 5% region wide and those temperatures will be pretty similar to what we saw today warming into the mid 80s in the springs lower 90s in Pueblo and we keep that dry streak going at least through the middle of next week before a possible pattern flip as we head towards the very end of the week lows tonight slightly cooler with this dry air mass generally down to the 30s 40s and 50s and your highs tomorrow again pretty similar to today 84 in the springs 93 in Pueblo up near 90 tomorrow afternoon in Canyon City. Here here is my super seven day forecast slightly cooler from a dry front on Sunday. That's going to be a really nice day though. Temperatures topping out near 79 by next week. Those could be the first 90 degree days of the year in the springs and we could be right near 100 potentially for the first time this year in Pueblo. We're going to be watching that closely. That comes next Tuesday into Wednesday for Canyon City. Got 80s through the weekend. Beautiful conditions, especially Sunday. 90s expected by the next week. And for Woodland Park, I've got us dry before our next chance of thunderstorms next Friday. We're back with more after this.